politics is what you make of it. Um, I was in party politics during the time that I was a member of parliament, but I tried to stay away from um, the petty politics. Um, you can be as engaged as you want at what level. Um, because I became a single mom quite early in my career, um, my husband passed away from a heart attack a year into my being elected. So I was very selective of what I did because I was the only parent left at home. And it's a very demanding job. So I probably turned down more opportunities than um, I would have if I hadn't been a single mom. So I tried to stay out of the petty politics of it, but sometimes you just can't. But you know, you have to make those choices, um, stand on your principles, and and do the good that, that you feel you can. You cannot be everything to everyone. That's a lesson you learn very quickly in politics that you're never going to please everyone. So I stuck to my principles. I um, dealt with issues that I felt I could have some role in, in changing or um, adv advocating for. Um, and I really chose what hills I wanted to die on. <laughs> I didn't want to die on every single hill. And that way, people would just stop listening to me. I picked and choose what battles I want to be engaged in. But being a member of parliament for Nunavut, I think, is different than many of the ridings in Canada, 300 I'm not sure how many there are now, but there was there were 301 when I started and I think 308 when I left, but they do redistribution every so many years, um, depending on population, but it's 300 plus. And I think every one of those members of parliament do does their job differently, depending on what kind of riding they have. You know, in Greater Toronto, you can have 30 plus people representing the same city. Whereas there's just one member of parliament for Nunavut, uh, NWT and the Yukon. So you have to do your work differently um, and, and try to, and like, just try to travel the territory takes its toll on you too. So, um, I engaged in what I thought would be positive for my writing. There's some times that you just can't, you know, avoid some of the things like when there's leadership races within your own party or, you know, there's something that happens in our um, party that causes distraction. Mm -hmm. So for me, I just tried to stay uh, standing on my principles, not forget where I came from and who I represent. So it is different for everyone, but it, it can get ugly. Um, that's just the negative side of being in politics. But I think you can do it in a way that you stay true to yourself and remember why you went in there in the first place. Mm 